You know, there's some times where some companies just can't stop building and can't stop growing. And yesterday, I didn't even realize there was another press release by Palantir. I made some other videos on some other topics. I actually made another video on a topic from a couple of days ago because they invested in a company. And yesterday, I didn't even realize they partnered with another company. So another day, another partnership in the land of Palantir. Palantir and Dewpoint Th Therapeutics announced a strategic partnership. We have another strategic partnership, ladies and gentlemen, from Palantir. Let's read a little bit off the press release and then we're going to analyze what is Dewpoint Thera Therapeutics and why is Palantir partnering with them? How are they utilizing Foundry? And what this means for why Palantir gets its sticky little fingers all across every single sector of our economy and why I think they will continue to do that for the next five years. Palantir, a leading builder of operating systems for the modern enterprise and Dewpoint Therapeutics, the leading biomecular condensates company. Interesting. We'll talk more about what that means. Today announced a partnership for Palantir's Foundry platform to help power Dewpoint's efforts to discover treatments and cures for the most challenging diseases. So if we look up the word condensates real quick, uh, liquid formed by condensation. So basically what these guys do is they condense biomecular molecules <laughs> and then try to figure out how to find treatments and cures for diseases based upon that biomecular condensation. Uh, Pound Your Foundry will help to enable researchers at Dewpoint Therapeutics to further their understanding of condensates biology by analyzing lab data along with other data sources, including data from the published literature and databases to identify new comp compounds and therapeutic approaches. Yeah, so I was pretty much right. Condensation is when you break things down to their liquid elements, and then you have to do a lot of research and data analysis based upon those liquid elements to try to figure out how to make sense of that data for drug, dis uh, uh, drug uh, discovery. Dewpoint Therapeutics is a biotechnical company, so that means their entire job is to figure out how to find more things uh, that exist in the world that could potentially be beneficial for humans when it comes to actual drugs. Dewpoint will also use Foundry as the primary platform for its centralized knowledge repository, helping it contextualize its experimental results and prioritize the most viable outcomes. This means they're going to use Foundry, which is Palantir's flagship software, as a centralized hub of knowledge within the fabric of the company to try to understand their data a lot more better, especially data that is siloed and data that is disparate throughout the company. It's going to be coming together in one place and be able to better make sense of that data. This multi-year agreement marks one of Palantir's most comprehensive partnerships with a biotechnology company. So before we go further, that's why I think this partnership is pretty important and I'm pretty bullish on it. They've already done a partnership with a SPAC, uh, which is a, biotechno a biotechnology company called Cellularity. And if you guys haven't heard of that, I made a video on that. I'll put that in the description. Cellularity is a biotech company uh, that is more on the riskier side because they're actually trying to like use placentas. And these are the things that like uh, you have after postmortem childbirth and try to use the cells from those placentas to figure out new cures for diseases. And there's a lot of data to condense, obviously, when you're trying to figure out and condense uh, that knowledge. Dewpoint's a little bit different in terms of it's using a particular type of biotechnology to get more data to understand more about drugs, but it's a comprehensive partnership because it's not necessarily in a SPAC phase, more so it's uh, in a research phase and research and development is one of its primary focuses here. Now, at Dewpoint, Foundry will be able to work seamlessly with the existing systems in its laboratories to provide research with a comprehensive foundation of exploration and analysis. So they're really in R&D phase and a lot of their researchers and scientists need to have more exploration and analysis. What company do you want to partner with that's going to be a centralized knowledge hub that's going to be able to actually produce the results you need and be able to analyze and synthesize the data that you have in order to make sense of that data to be able to find better drugs and discover better mechanisms to find better drugs. There's really one company out there. It's Palantir. Uh, the precedent that I think this is setting is that ultimately more and more biotechnology companies, and I actually did a video about this back in November, about uh, Palantir's uh, value proposition to life and sciences companies. I'll put that in the, the description as well. So I did one generally explaining life and sciences, and then I did one about a biotech company they've invested in. Both of those videos seem to make the same argument, which is that data analysis in the R&D phase is central, right? When you're coming up with a new vaccine, when you're coming up with a new drug, when you're trying to tackle a really big problem, you need to be able to analyze thousands and th honestly millions of experiments that have happened for the past 40, 50 years of, of, of modern society to be able to figure out why certain things work and why certain things don't work. The basis here is to find pattern recognition. And when you can find pattern recognition when you're trying to find a drug, you can look at different ways in which certain drugs have worked together in the past or not worked together in the past and ultimately try new things. That is the whole basis for experimentation and analysis. If that experimentation is even slightly successful, you have probability, which is what all these drug companies 
companies are looking for. That's what their venture capitalists pump money into the company for. That's what the public markets pump, pump money in the company for. I know this because I've invested pretty heavy, about like $20,000 position in a biotechnology company. And all you're looking for is discovery of some potential. So if you help a one patient, if you help a couple of people, if you find a little bit of a breakthrough, that's all you need, not only for the uh, value of the biotechnology company to go up, but for the actual probability for them to have an impact on the world that is meaningful because they're actually solving problems for people that don't that have these problems that don't have cures for them right like these are, this is actually really important stuff and it's game changing stuff quote from the head of biotech of palantir uh their name is lala rook harsh shaikh we think Dewpoint is changing the way the world approaches drug design by exploring new frontiers of disease biology, requiring a game-changing solution that goes beyond is ju just cloud and infrastructure to solve their R&D and scale with their vision as they grow. We are proud to partner with Dewpoint and share their passion for working uh, one of the most exciting transitional translational medicine approaches of, of our time. So Palantir thinks two things about this. Number one, they think that Dewpoint Therapeutics in particular has an exciting way of approaching medicine and discovering medicine and creating medicine. And number two, they think that they're uh, exploring a new frontier of disease biology, particularly the condensation thing we talked about at the beginning, that goes beyond cloud and infrastructure to drive their R&D. Cloud and infrastructure is like storing all your data in the cloud and using that as the backbone for a company's ability to figure out uh, what they're doing or to optimize their uh, th their processes. Uh, when you're using something like Foundry, you're talking about the cloud on steroids, right? Because it's not just cloud infrastructure. And Foundry incorporates the cloud, which is just data stored in one place. But it, it optimizes your data, it analyzes your data, it synthesizes your data. So it, it takes it to a different level, especially when it comes to R&D. CEO of Dewpoint says, again, CEO, this is not some random spokesperson. This is the CEO of the company that's, that's partnering with Palantir. Key to our approach has been creating a seamless connection between our wet lab and dry lab capabilities with machine learning and AI at the center. So wet lab and dry lab are two different forms of uh, biomedicine research and machine learning and AI, the CEO is saying of a drug company is at the center of our research. Foundry has provided us with a solid foundation for us to fully connect and operationalize our entire lab to enterprise and enable the discovery and development of new drugs. And that's and 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 that's it, folks. I mean, like uh, to me again, for those who are saying, can Palantir actually scale? Can they get to a different sector? Can they can they work with different people? Like, yes, the answer is yes. I mean, this partnership after partnership after partnership, and it's not going to stop. They're just going to keep keep going further, keep finding new clients, keep finding new ways. They did a partnership with a media company. I, I did a video on that. It was called Ringier. Um, you know, they invested in ad companies, like advertising companies. They invested in biotech companies. They invested in big data companies for cars. You seem to start seeing most of the crazy use cases with a software that is built to just accelerate and accentuate. Accentuate means make greater. Uh, I learned that from a Paul McCartney song called Accentuate the Positive. I would recommend go listening to it. I listened to it like eight years ago, and it's my one of my favorite Paul McCartney songs. It's accentuating the process by which individuals actually get their information within companies and know what to do with it. And it rests upon the thesis that data is going to drive every decision-making paradigm in the future. So you talk about an R&D department of a drug discovery company. They are simply, I mean, these guys, they don't care about anything other than solving the world's biggest problems when it comes to drugs. And if there could be a software that they could just pop in, press a button, and it gives them results, gives them answers, and lets them go on their day quicker then you're talking about an incredible resource and how many drug discovery companies are there, not even the big ones, but just like the semi-big ones that can use Palantir on a recurring basis every year at you know $8.1 million at their average contract. I mean, you talk about scale. These guys just need to figure out how to scale, but they've got the juice to actually scale and completely get it done. Last thing I want to talk about, uh, Dewpoint Therapeutics. I uh, just want to read it so people understand a little bit more. Dewpoint Therapeutics is the first company to apply the energy understanding of biomedical or condensates to drug discovery. Dewpoint believes that a vast range of conditions have pathways that are regulated by condensates or arise from the dysfunction of condensates, including cancer, neuro neurodegeneration, infectious disease, and metabolic disease. Dewpoint scientists work in Boston, Dresden, and Berlin to translate condensate biology into treatments for the toughest to learn diseases. And biomedicular, biomecular condensates. They are formed through a process called phase separation. They are membraneless droplets inside cells that facilitate molecular interactions and help cells perform vital functions. This is the stuff we talked about, about liquidation of these things in order for them to be understood at a, at a, at a deeper level. This is also where you get the wet lab and dry lab research, right? Some of the stuff you have to condense it, so you get the liquid, it's more wet. Some of the stuff is more dry. Condensates have been shown to play a critical role in key biological processes and in serious intractable diseases across areas, including neurodegeneration, cancer, inflammation, infectious disease, etc. The first condensates were observed more than 100 
100 years ago. It is only in the last 12 years, though, that scientists, including Dewpoint uh, founders Tony Hyman and Max Planck, uh, have been good to understand the dynamic nature and function of condensates. Dew points develop drugs that exploit this biology. And that's why I'm bullish on this. You are talking about an innovative company that only in the last 12 years has discovered research that has happened from 100 years ago, is exploiting this biological method of discovering different drugs, and they're using the most best machine learning AI software, one of one thing that exists on the market as the foundation and infrastructure to drive their discovery process. Makes sense to me and makes sense for why this is only going to continue happening. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Do you think this is a good partnership? Do you think this is going to work? Do you think biomecular condensates and dew point therapeutics, do you think dew point therapeutics method of biomecular condensates makes sense to have Palantir at the core of it? Uh, and ultimately, do you think that Palantir is going to be able to work with other companies in the future? Links to everything I talked about will be in the description. My name is Mitt. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.